Annyeong everybody! So today uh, is a continuation of a topic we did previously about formal speech and honorific form. So, let's recap. Formal speech, honorific. If you recall, uh, previously what we did was formal speech essentially is uh, something nida. Like, 감사합니다, 사랑합니다, 먹습니다, 니다, 니다. Formal speech here. And honorific, it's you will hear like a sh informal honorific. It will be shim nida. Okay. So, uh, so you will hear like suyong hashinida instead of suyong hamnida. So it's shim nida. This is formal honorific. Shim nida. So again, formal speech, just to recap, formal speech is about who you are talking to. So if it's a formal setting, you're talking to your boss, you will use nida. There. And if um, in a formal setting, an honorific is about who you're talking about. Honorific is about who you're talking about. So let's say I'm talking about my grandfather. In a formal setting with my boss, I would use 할아버지는 um, 매일 수영하십니다. Okay, so this is the difference between formal and formal honorific. Now today, what we're going to cover is casual. Mm, for example, let's say what you're very familiar with. 사랑해요. Okay, with a yo, it's polite. So without a yo, um, it's 사랑해. So you use 사랑해, just casual. If you're talking to somebody younger than you, your junior or somebody very, very close with, you can just say, oh, 사랑해. 하지만 if you're talking to somebody um, you need to be polite to, you use 사랑해요. So you're not too close to that person. So 사랑해. Yo, no yo, no polite. Now again, this is depending on the um, the person you're talking to. Honorific is about the person you're talking about. So when do we use the honorific casual form? So 사랑. Again, you will know that it's an honorific style. If it's 사랑 하세요. So here, honorific is shown here. 하세요. 하세요. So, uh, when do you use 사랑하세요? 예를 들면, for example, let's say I'm talking, say 어머니, 어머니 께서 instead of 어머니가 because you want to respect the mother, you use the subject, honorific subject uh, marker of 께서 어머니께서 아버지를 많이 사랑하세요 Okay? So in this case, who is the one doing the action of uh, the action of a loving father? So ha seyo. So you want to respect the mother, she's the one doing the action. So ha seyo. But let's say you're talking about your dongseng, a uh, junior or some your younger sibling. Now in this case you kind of don't need to respect your dongseng, so you just say sarang heo. So that's the difference. So if you both are in casual form, maybe you are in a casual setting, talking to your classmates, so you can use the yo form, the casual form. Hasima, when you're talking about um, the one doing the action, so you want to respect your mother, so you use 어머니가, 어머니께서 사랑하세요. And yogi just, yogi is just 사랑, 아, 동생이 아버지를 사랑해요. Okay, so I hope this explains the difference between casual and honorary form. Come mm -hmm.